we're just going to see where the liner takes us because nine times out of ten the liner is in control not me hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so if you've been watching you've seen i've been doing a lot of first impressions of high-end products and today we are going through the drugstore so everything that i have right here is what i have on my face and they are all affordable for your pockets much better than the high-end stuff so i won't keep you guys waiting if you're new please hit that subscribe button join the family and if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned and keep on watching so i have my bin right here and we got a bunch of drugstore makeup i've been doing a lot of high-end videos lately mainly because I had those big hauls and I wanted to show you guys the products that I bought. But I also have a haul that had some Ulta stuff, some CVS stuff, some Target stuff. So we need to go ahead and try these out. For primers, let's see what I have. The only thing that I have actually is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind 4-in-1 Perfect. Is that right? Perfector, not Perfector. Perfector. I believe I swatched this. This is in the shade 04 Medium Deep. It says it is a self-adjusting shade. I don't remember if I swatched this or not. Right now, I just have my moisturizer on. So we can go ahead and try this. It says it's a whipped matte makeup. And this is what the packaging looks like. Baby pink. It is very, very moussey. Like, how weird does that look? Super, super thick, moussey. I feel like I just dropped some somewhere, but <laughs> I can't find it. Um, so let's see what happens. It says self-adjusting. This is very dark. I don't know if I'm supposed to use my fingers, a brush, what is happening here. Fingers. All right. I hate using my fingers, but we're going to listen. So it is giving me some coverage. It is a little dark, but it is not as dark as it initially looks, which is a good thing. But you can definitely see the difference around my eyes since I'm not putting it under my eyes. Yeah, definitely have makeup on my fingertips, which I don't love that. So I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe and then we will go ahead and move into the rest of the products. I do see that this is blurring my skin a little bit, which I always love. It feels smoother. So feels like it's doing what it says it's supposed to do. We're gonna start off with eyes because I am using a new eyeshadow palette. So I do want to do my eyes first in case I have fallout. This is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Get That Dough eyeshadow palette. I picked this up from Target, so that is why I am including it in a drugstore video, even though we know that you can get Beauty Bakery at Ulta and it is more on the high end side. I guess they came out with like a more affordable line for Target, who knows? So this is what the palette looks like. Super cute, very natural, which is good for today because I ain't doing much other than working out. I have only one concealer and it's the Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. I'm gonna use that as my eyeshadow primer since I don't have one. I'm gonna use this under my eyes too. I don't know about this shade under my eyes, but given that we're just kind of hodgepodging with all the shades, Y'all know we gonna finesse it, make it work. So I do feel like this blends pretty easy. I don't know about this coverage. I mean, I didn't use a lot, but I don't feel like it's like super full, maybe medium coverage. We'll see when it gets to my under eyes to set that. I do have two face powders. I have this Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Powder, and then I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Light Medium Loose Powder. I'm gonna use this one. Oh, never fails. I think I'm gonna use that one under my eyes, and I'm gonna use this Lasting Fix on top. The Lasting Fix one does look like it is more of a neutral shade than I expected. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but it does not look very yellow. I thought it was going to be more yellow, so I think that's a good thing, actually. 
maybe just because of the color of the top but we are here for a good neutral powder because that's what I love under my eyes so because we have a very neutral eyeshadow palette we're gonna have a very I mean we could do a glam look but I don't know if we in the mood to do all that today so let's just see where the palette pigmentation takes us so I'm gonna start off I'm gonna use this shade up here in my crease and see okay cute crease shade it looks warmer on my eye than it does in the pan but I love shades like this for my crease because I feel like they add a little dimension and some warmth at the same time I always feel like if I don't have a shade like this I'll just go in with my bronzer and that works well too but this shade is nice Next, I'm going to go in with this shade here in the middle and deepen up my crease a little bit. Ooh, that's darker than I expected. I wonder what that darkest shade is going to look like then. Spreading a lot. Pigmentation is pretty good on this. I haven't heard people talking about this palette, but y'all know me and eyeshadow will always be down to try a new palette. And I will go back and blend that out, but so far, liking how this looks. So far, so good. I am going to take that darker shade because now I'm curious to see how dark we can get. So I'm going to take this darker shade here and darken the outer V. Yep, it is definitely darker. These are very powdery. I don't know if you can see the kick up in the pan there, but I'm glad I'm doing my eyeshadow first because I feel like I probably will have some fallout. But this shade is definitely deeper than the other one, so kind of impressed so far. The shades are blending well together. Pigmentation is there. I like Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palettes. I have the Breakfast in Bed palette. And I like that one. I heard a lot of people say they don't like that one. I don't know why. So now I kind of want to just go in with a cream shade, but I feel like these two shades look very similar, very soft. Yeah, I guess one's a little okay. I guess I see the difference. It ain't enough of a difference to have them both in this small palette. Like, I feel like that's almost the same, and that is very disappointing. I definitely don't want that yellow gold. I am not about that life. It can go sometimes. I feel like I tend to use shades like this more for when I'm doing like a green look, but just for like neutral every day, not today. So either we're going in with a matte, or we're going in, I guess I'm gonna use the bronzier shade which looking at them I don't even know which one <laughs> which one is which that was not a good choice whoever helped market this palette I'm gonna use the one down here they look almost the same so whatever pick your poison I probably could use them both and I doubt you would be able to tell but we can see because this is the one in the center I could have did a cut crease, but I don't feel like doing that either. And then let's try the other one. Okay, I feel like for whatever reason, that one has a little more punch. But like right next to each other, you can barely tell the difference. Other than like the initial swipe. At least I feel like you can't tell. So I'm just going to do the, other th the same thing on the other eye. I definitely feel like this one packs a bigger punch right out the bat. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Maybe it's just the tone that's making it do that. I don't know. I wish they would have put something else like a, either a darker bronze or a more... 
neutral cream shimmer shade or like a you know like a champagne or something we're just gonna go back and finish blending everything and then we're gonna move on because i didn't want this to be like too glam of a look but i do think that these shadows are blending well together i just wish they would have done something different with the few shimmer shades that they have in here I'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just lightly, yeah, we got some fallout. Ah, oh, even from the shimmer shades, interesting. I don't wanna wipe too much because I already have my under eye primer on, but, and yes, I did use my Becca one. I'm gonna use that pretty much anytime I do my makeup. For foundation, I have three. Three? Yeah, so I have these NYX Total Control Drops. This is in the shade Cappuccino. I have used these and I freaking love them. I know this is not new, but it's new to me and I had no idea they were that good. I also have this Thread Face It Complexion Stick, but I know this is really dark for me, so she may have to wait or be a bronzer contour shade. So that leaves us with this Almay Clear Complexion Makeup. It has salicylic acid and prebiotics and aloe. This is in the shade 800 Caramel. I don't love the way this shade looks in the bottle, but let's see how it looks on the face because that is the real tell. So I'm gonna start off with just one pump. It's weird because I feel like shades like this always look weird in the bottle and then I put them on my face and it's fine. So probably gonna be the case now, but we're gonna start just by stippling and given that our primer had that little bit of a dark tint to it I think this will be good I do see that it's given some coverage definitely will need more because that one pump was literally just the bottom half of my face okay that shade worked out better than I thought it would so I stand corrected so that is just one pump not super full coverage does it say full coverage i don't know what the claims are on this i don't remember i don't think it came in a box so whatever it says on the bottle is what it is and it says it's mainly for helping to clear your skin with the salicylic acid i don't really have a problem with acne anymore but every now and then i get clogged pores so can't be mad at it i'm going to take another full pump and try to see if we can build up the coverage in the areas I need help with and put a little on my forehead. I feel like it's building up a little bit, but I definitely don't see being able to get like full, full coverage out of this. And again, it may not be even marketed to be full coverage, so can't say like it's not meeting any claims or anything like that. But I feel like if you have acne prone skin and you're fighting blemishes, then you probably need something that has more coverage because you more than likely have dark spots or redness and other stuff like that that comes with having acne. So take that with a grain of salt. If you're looking for something to just kind of help even out your skin tone, but not look like you're doing too much, this may be good for you. If you're looking for something that has more coverage because you have really bad hyperpigmentation or any kind of scarring or redness or anything like that that you wanna cover, you may need to go in with a concealer first to help with that. But I like how this looks. I think it's good for what I'm using it for, which is take a few pictures and go sweat my behind off in the gym. So. We're gonna stop there with that and then move into the concealer. So I'm gonna go back with the Almay concealer. And let's see how we can build this up. Oh no, I have another product, I forgot. We're gonna see if we can mix them. This is the Flower Beauty by Drew Chill Out Smoothing Color Corrector. I forgot I had this and I probably need this right now. This is in the shade Deep Peach. This is a kind of dry formula. I was thinking it was gonna be like the Becca, um, which one is that? The under eye, like correcting kind of peachy shade that 
I'm just gonna put this over this. It'll be fine. I'll mix them. Y'all know that Becca product that they used to have that was super duper creamy and they didn't have a lot of shades for it. I felt like this was gonna kind of be like that, but this is not, this is a lot drier of a formula, which I kind of like. I definitely feel like it is a peach shade. So you can see it there. And then this is what it looks like by itself on the back of my hand. So I do feel like it is peachy enough that it could help, but it is also light enough that it looks like it could be used by itself as a concealer. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're not wanting to buy a bunch of different products, you may be able to use this one by itself. And it's weird because this says skin perfecting and I did not even think to check. I probably need to look it up, but if this has like salicylic acid and all that stuff, then it's gonna be drying. This may not be the best thing to use under your eyes, but this is all I have. So <laughs> we're gonna do it today. My eyes have been prepped pretty well. This is pretty creamy though. And then I do have my Sonia Kashuk sponge, so Get to try that out today too. I thought I wasn't gonna like the shade of this, but I kind of do. Definitely brightening, but it's not that golden. I don't like those. We know I don't like those super yellow looking gold shades. I don't feel like that complements my skin tone very well at all. This sponge is pretty big. I've heard people talk about these, but I had never tried it. I like how that concealer looks. I do like my other sponges that are a little smaller and have that super pointy edge on them to help kind of get under these eyes a little bit. But this is not bad. It's very soft and squishy, which is what you want in a sponge. It's just, it's big. It is big. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Powder and I'm gonna put that under one side and then I'm gonna put the other Maybelline on the other side. That went straight up my nose, Lord. Definitely brightening. I'm gonna do one side here. I did think this was gonna be a lot more yellow and that's why it was not like my first, first choice but right now I like how this looks. Take the other side of my sponge and just press that in. I always try to do that with my powders. So now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade number 20, light medium. This is a darker shade than the other one. Ooh, so you might be able to tell. I'm using the same powder brush. Can you tell that that's a different shade? I feel like I can't really tell. They're both brightening. I feel like they are very similar. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe throughout the day I'll be able to tell the difference, but right off the bat, just putting them on, I don't feel like I can tell that much of a difference. I, I feel like maybe this has some coverage to it that I didn't get on the other side. I should have patted this out first because I feel like my under eye is creasing. And now I'm gonna put some more on this side because I feel like I just put a bunch. So I'll just press that in on this side as well. Mm, I don't know if I can tell which one I like better off just the initial application. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, tell me if y'all can tell the difference. I don't feel like I can tell a big difference just in the monitor other than I feel like this I should have went back over it before I put my powder but we'll be okay but I like how both of these look so far I feel like the shades are pretty comparable so I can't really tell a big difference on that so we'll just keep going I don't know so let's see this stick this is the thread face it complexion stick I said I felt like this was gonna be a bronzer shade yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do a light 
little contour with that. That is a really good neutral shade. Like not too warm, not too dark. Oh, you might want to be careful, girl. I never do this. <laughs> uh, let's see. I like the shade of this a lot. That is pretty and it is blending out so well. Now that makes me want to get a darker shade. We're gonna use a regular bronzer too, so I think this is good. We don't want it to be too, too dark, but just from the initial application, I love how that's blending out. It doesn't look too crazy. It is not a bronzer. It is definitely a contour with that undertone. I really like how that looks. For regular bronzer, I do have the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer. I got mine in the shade 500 Dark. I don't know if y'all can see, but I have used this and I like her. So we're just gonna take a fluffy brush and lightly go over the areas where we put the thread darker shade. Okay, we're gonna be snatched today. I love this. I can tell y'all that already. I have used this a couple times before, but I did want to show it on camera. Let me go ahead and swatch it. So we'll put it right here, just so you can see the difference in the two shades. You see how that one's a little warmer, this one's a little cooler. And that's what we are mixing right now. I am trying to decide if I want to use this. I have this Black Radiant Soft Focus Effect finishing powder. I don't, ooh, about to drop it. I don't think it has a lot of coverage. And I kind of just want to go over, I feel like I'm looking a little dark. <laughs> so I just want to go over and just kind of set everything and brighten. Maybe, I don't think this is going to brighten much at all. But it's just another finishing step. I wanted to see what this powder feels like. And honestly, I have so much stuff on my face right now, I'm not even sure I could tell. It does feel pretty creamy. Yeah, it is super light. I don't know if you can tell that that even did anything, but I do kind of feel like it helped to just smooth everything out, make me look a little more airbrushed. We gotta do some blush. Y'all already know your girl ain't going nowhere without blush. I have this Milani Spiced Rose Rose Powder Blush, which, God, this color. And she has a little bit of a sheen to her. Oh, so creamy. Look at that pigment. That is like my perfect blush. But I'm on this little Alme kick right now, and I have their Wild Berry Healthy Hue Blush, which this is also a very gorgeous shade. Mm, I'm kind of liking that bronzy one more though, just for this look. So we're gonna go in with the Alme one first. I'm gonna put that back here. You kind of see it, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I don't feel like it really goes with this look, so I don't wanna put too, too much but I did want to see what it looks like and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it but uh, this Milani one I knew was going to be it this is like my perfect oh she's very powdery like I just dipped my brush in it and look at that powder all over the place so oh but yes shades like this I will literally wear with like no makeup on and it has such a gorgeous finish. Like it's making my cheeks have a little glow. I know y'all see that. I know you see that. Look how beautiful. This freaking sponge is huge. I'm just trying to blend in around these edges so it don't look too crazy. Definitely love that. For highlighter, this is new. This is the Winky Lux Champagne Highlighter. And this is a cream highlighter. It is just like the blushes. So it comes in this little sphere. Like, look at how gorgeous this is. 
so, so, so pretty. I know y'all see that. I know you see it, and I think this is a beautiful shade. I don't feel like this brush is really picking it up the way I want it to, but that might be a good thing because it does seem like she's very pigmented. Yeah. She is definitely pigmented, so we probably are doing the right thing going in with this brush and just working to build it up and press it into the skin so it doesn't look crazy. Like, I have to do this. Because my brush is not going to do it for what I want there. I knew this was going to be pretty. I did get it more for the packaging than anything else, but definitely impressed with that all right what else we got we do have a brow product this is also by maybelline and this is their express brow two-in-one pencil and powder i got mine in the shade ooh black brown one side twist it you twist it and it's this powder applicator here and then the other side is, ooh, yes, it's the big pencil that I like. I'm gonna start off with the pencil and just kind of outline. And I'm using a light hand because the shade is going to be dark. Yeah, definitely some pigment there. I'm barely even pressing. Like that's gonna get super dark and really out of hand really quick, which we don't want. Just lightly drawing in the bottom and the front, and then I will fill it in with powder. Front and the top as well. I do like more of a kind of structured, but also kind of bushy. Like I don't like it super defined unless I'm doing a really glam look. So having this powder option might be perfect for what I like to do. So let's see what happens with the powder. And I'm gonna do the other one off camera. Yeah, so it just helps feel, I don't know where the powder comes from though. So there's the top right here and then that's the applicator. And I don't know if the powder is in the applicator or in the top because I don't know, it just don't seem like it's a lot, but it's definitely laying down some product. <sighs> I mean, it's doing what I want it to do. I just, I don't know where the powder's coming from and it's kind of making me curious. I feel like, I don't know if y'all can see, it looks a little waxy at the bottom. Like the pencil seems like it's a little waxy, but it did what it's supposed to do. That's what I normally do with my brows, especially on a makeup day where I'm not trying to be like too glam. So I think that looks good. So I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and then come back and we will finish the rest of the face. Eyes are done. I just went in with a darker shade on my lash line like I normally do and then the lighter of the two bronzer um, shimmer shades on my inner third, I guess you can say. So nothing special, what I always do. Um, I'm not trying to open <laughs> this Maybelline Hyper Easy Eyeliner. This is in 800 pitch black. It says it is a brush tip, which we love. And that it's supposed to be super easy, really thin line. I don't want to do too, too much of a wing today, but I feel like every time I say that, I end up doing a really big wing. So we're just going to see where the liner takes us because nine times out of 10, the liner is in control, not me. I do love that this is a very small pencil or pen, I should say. And then, yeah, she is black. So we're going to be careful and try to just keep this real small. right on the lash line because I don't plan on wearing lashes but we'll see I do like this applicator it is coming out very easy I am not pressing hard at all I 
and that is enough. Just a cute little baby wing. Now let's just see if we can do the same thing on the other side and not mess it up. Not bad. She got a little bigger off camera, but we can deal with it. Not bad at all. I like that. I like the applicator. I like how easy it comes out. I didn't have any issues with that. We're going to move on to mascara. I have this LA Girl Fiber Mascara. I showed this in a haul and it has been sitting waiting for me to use it. It says that is volume boosting, extends lashes and water resistant and it has a flexible silicone brush. I do like silicone brushes. Formula looks kind of dry. I like that the brush is small. So I'm not going to be too nervous about using it on my bottom lashes. Hold on. Hold on a minute because first swipe I see pigment and I see longer lashes which is always what I look for. So, okay, I'm not mad about this so far, especially considering I have eyeliner on. Like sometimes I feel like when I do eyeliner first and then try to do mascara, I can't see it, but I can definitely see this. I mean, it ain't like groundbreaking life-changing, but for the price, I'm gonna try to see if I can let it dry down and build it up some more, but let's see how it looks on the bottom lashes. I'm just trying to figure out, I do feel like it looks like it kind of has like cotton in it or something like the fibers. I feel like I can actually see them. I don't feel like this is coming off. Like I'm trying to be super careful on my bottom lash line and I don't see it. So maybe not the best for bottom lashes. You can see it a little bit, but I don't feel like I'm just scared I'm gonna mess up my face. Yeah, I don't know about this being for bottom lashes, but for my top lashes, I definitely feel like that did a little something. She's about to come upstairs. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, LA girl, can y'all see my lashes hanging out all the way over here? All right, I'm gonna do the other one off camera. We're gonna finish with lips and then go over everything real quick and let y'all know what I think. Time to finish with lips and we have to do a neutral. I really wanted to use my lip bar red combo, but I just don't feel like that's gonna go with this look. So I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place. Does that count as drugstore? I feel like it does. You can get it in Ulta on the drugstore side. Use your 350 coupon. I think it counts. This is the lip set that I got. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the Lux Liner in Cola, which I absolutely love this liner. And then their liquid lipstick in Self Love, gorgeous nude. So I think it's going to be perfect. So we're just going to go ahead and line and apply and we are done. That was a lot darker than I thought I remembered. We might end up layering this a little bit. <laughs> Let's see though. I feel like it's just gonna be super nude and that is not my norm. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the lip bar. Kinda give that some ombre, just a little bit. So it ain't so drastic of a brown. And then we'll go over it with the nude. I'm sorry, the lip bar one was a combo that I got with this red it was a red lady boss set or something the name of it i don't boss lady there you go straight boss is the liner lady boss boss lady is the liquid lipstick but let's see oh yeah she knew okay let's do that definitely gonna need to smudge this out with my finger Yeah, I definitely think I made the right call adding the, well, it's starting to look a little pink. Oh, but that is pretty though. I feel like I need a gloss. Do I have a gloss? I'm gonna have to find a gloss because this feels very dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more because this is looking very pink. I think that looks very pink. Let me go back over it with cola and then we'll put a gloss and that should make everything okay. Yeah, see that already helped it out. 
I don't normally like like super pink nude shades. I like them to be a little more of this kind of slightly burgundy terracotta, especially with this eye look, but I think this is cute. Let me find a gloss. All right, we got two Maybelline Lifter glosses. I'm leaning more towards the shade Opal, but I also have this Juvia's Place Sis. Is this a gloss? Please tell me this is a gloss. I can't tell. Yes, it is definitely a gloss and will give me a little more of a brown. But then I also have this NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu, which I haven't used one of these in forever. Still smells pretty good, but that looks pink, which we are not going for. So we're going to go with the Juvia's Place, which is definitely a little more neutral. Perfect. Oh, be careful. that did it absolutely did it so this is it for the final look overall i loved all of the products that i used today like i have no complaints i think the color match is pretty good we were able to get all that toned the face products complexion products were absolutely amazing i like the eyeshadow palette i just wish they would have done better with the color story because those two shimmer shades are way too similar to have in this little bitty palette. The blushes, you saw, I was gagging. The highlighter, gagging. The lips, gagging. Like, love it all. So comment below, let me know what you think. Eyeliner, the only thing I will say I'm kind of eh about is the brows. I feel like that stick, the pencil was a little waxy and I feel like it just looks like my brows look shiny. And I don't know that I've had that with a pencil before. And I didn't want to go too dark with it, so I had to be very careful. But this is the final look. Love the mascara. Comment, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried any of these products? Are they any of your favorites? Thinking about picking something up? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new, I hope you hit the subscribe button to join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's okay.